Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I'm Jawad Tehami and these are the headlines. In Pakistan, at least six soldiers have been martyred when an improvised explosive device hit their convoy in the North Wazidistan district. The military's media wing said Captain Umar Farooq was among those martyred. U.S. envoy Zalmay Khalil Zad says Washington and the Taliban have agreed to reset their actions by adhering to the Doha peace deal. In a series of tweets following his meetings with the Taliban, Khalid Zad said the assurances will lead to a reduction in violence by all sides. He added that the recent spike in violence in Afghanistan is threatening the ongoing peace process. In Thailand, protesters have taken to the streets again in Bangkok despite arrests of activists and emergency decree banning gatherings. They are demanding the release of protest leaders detained in the crackdown on a student-led protest movement. The decree was issued in response to protests calling the resignation of Prime Minister Pariyut Chanocha and a reduction in the king's powers. Azerbaijan says three civilians have been killed and five others wounded in Armenia's attack on Tata's city. Foreign Policy Affairs head Hikmat Hajiyev said Azerbaijan reserves the right to protect its civilians. Earlier, Russia and Turkey called on both the sides to observe the ceasefire in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Nearly 600 people have been killed in the conflict since it broke out on the 27th of September. And that's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Coming up next is the Indus Q scene.